Hey guys, Myra Power Driven Diesel here. We just started offering our own 60 Power Stroke tuning, and so I'm super excited to show you guys how to acquire it and how to flash this truck with it, and a couple of the new features that we're able to do with this tuning. All right, guys, this is Todd's 2006 Ford Power Stroke, and he's on vacation. He doesn't know I stole it. We're putting some of our new tuning in there to surprise him with some of these cool new features, including up to six tune positions. His is a newer truck, so it's gonna have all six. Older would only have three, and it's gonna have a quiet tune. So if he's going through a drive-through, he can click into that quiet tune, as well as, I mean, you have six tune levels. You can do all so many things with all those. So today we're gonna to show you how to actually take that tuning from the website and put it in your truck. Our power-driven tuning utilizes HP tuners and their new RTD device. That is this guy right here. It makes it super straightforward. You plug it into your truck, hook it up to your phone with Bluetooth, read the file, send it to us. We send you the file back, you flash the truck. It's really that simple and we're gonna show you how. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to powerdriven.com and then throw in the search bar, Power Driven Custom Tuning for 6O Power Stroke. Also, the link's in the description if that's easier. And then once you're here, we're just gonna go through a couple of options. This is custom tuning, so we need to know what your truck has so we can get a tune that's well suited for it. So first thing we have is tune option. We got single versus multiple, obviously a single tune, that's you can get one tune file. Multiple will give you multiple tune files. That, with the multiple option, you have to reflash it every time you wanna make a change. And that's where that multiple with shift on the fly, SOTF, comes in, because now that's where you can go use your cruise control buttons and make tune changes on the fly driving down the road. If you can swing it, 100% recommend that. And then the other thing we have in there as an option is with Ficum tuning or without. So that standard just multiple or non-Ficum tuning, that lets you tune the ECM, which is cool. You get a lot of capability there, but that Ficum tuning, that fuel injection control module tuning really helps unlock more fuel and more power capability if that is something you're shooting for. So I would definitely recommend just multiple shift on the fly with Ficum. It gives us a lot more control, much more things we can adjust. Obviously that's gonna be the most expensive as well. And then we have aftermarket turbocharger, yes or no. Aftermarket fuel system, yes or no. Just kind of fill in what you got there. Just so again, we know what you have so we can write the best tune for you. And then again, we keep going down. VIN, enter VIN, tire size, enter tire size, all straightforward. And then modifications, you just wanna go through and list out anything you've done to the truck that's not factory. Maybe you have a fuel system, maybe you have an exhaust, an intake, a transmission, whatever it is, just kinda of go through, list that out so we can custom tailor that tune to your truck. So once you buy our tuning, you'll get one of these HP RTD devices in the mail and we'll open it up, kind of show you what's in here. It's very, very simple. So it'll come with our power driven RTD device right here. That'll go in your OBD2 port later. And then it also comes with a cable. You should not need this cable, but if for some reason you're having Wi-Fi or Bluetooth issues and you want to connect it to your laptop or your phone, this is the cable to do it with. You shouldn't need it, but it's there. And then we got a couple instruction sheets. Shouldn't Again, this video should cover everything you need to know, but you got more questions, it might be in these guys. So the first thing we're going to do is gonna go ahead and plug in that RTD device into the OBD2 port. Plug it in right there. And now we're gonna grab our phone and download the app. So the first thing we're gonna do on our Apple phone is go to the App Store. If you got an Android, you're gonna to go to the Google Play Store, I think is what you guys use. Either way, you're gonna search up the TDN app. T D N HP tuners, TDN. It's actually one of the top search things under that. And then we're gonna go ahead and download it. Shouldn't take long. You will wanna make sure you have a good internet connection for this whole process. Cause we're gonna have to use the phone to update the device and upload all those files to like the tuning network for us to be able to then make changes to. So now that the app is downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and open it just like that. And that opens it. There are two things we need to do. First of all, we need to make sure we have an account. So in the top right here, there's a little account icon. Um, you can just create your own account, not a problem. I already have one, so I'm just gonna log in. I'm gonna log in with Todd's account. That way <laughs> it uh, saves it to his truck and his profile. So now the second thing we're gonna do, and it may have already popped this up already, but if it didn't, we're gonna go in the top left little gear icon. We're gonna set up, say set up RTD4 and that gets it to where the device is actually linked to our phone. It's very um, straightforward. It really prompts you through it. So we're gonna grab your RTD device. We're going to plug it into that OBD2 port, which we already did. And then we're going to look for a steady green light on the front of that device. Put your hand in front of it. Yep, we can see the green. So we're ready. 
and then there's a button and even shows you, cause you can't really see it. It's actually pretty awesome. You, it shows you where that button is. We're just gonna press and hold that, that button until a blue light starts flashing right there. It's done. We're gonna do next. So now it's searching for the device and looks like it found it. Pairing complete, activating your interface. So yeah, now it's going through communicating, updating the device, getting everything on the same page. Credits applied, we're complete. It's really that simple. So now we're gonna go back to the home. Look at that, power driven. It's, it has indeed linked up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to read that stock file. So we click the read write. We want to read vehicle. And you can see it says, turn the key into the run position, but do not start the vehicle. Very straightforward. And it says if you have a button um, start, which the six O's do not, how to do that. And it is very important to read these things because there's sometimes there's multiple steps involved. You want to make sure you're doing it before you hit ready. So we're going to turn the key on like that. Hit ready. Got it. So it's connecting to the RTD4. I may have been thumping on the way from Todd's house. Okay, so it says turn off ignition. Turn it off. Click ready. It's gonna wait you. It says wait three seconds and then turn the ignition back on. So we waited the three seconds, turn the ignition back on, hit done. If you mess up and accidentally turn it off or keep it off or whatever else, um, shouldn't cause any real damage. You just have to do the whole process again. So now it's going through. It's identified this as a Green Oak 512K Ford. And it says we're, it's gonna be about a minute to read this module. And there's three different modules. There's the ECM, the FICM, and the transmission. So it's reading all those modules so that way um, it can have all the stock files. So it can send it to us or we can start modifying. Once again, we're gonna turn off that ignition. Hit ready. So that's two modules. We got one more module left. Turn the key on, click done. Turn off the ignition. Hit ready. Okay, and that was the FICM. So now we're just receiving file one of one from RTD. So now it's downloading files that the RTD got to the phone so it can go up to the, the tuning network. And that's basically automatically just sending us that file so we can start playing with it. So you don't have to worry about emailing anything. It's super straightforward, super simple. Looks like we did good. Your vehicle tune has been read and sent to your linked tuner. These controllers were read the ECM, the FICM, and the TCM. So we're good. Once the tuner sends you a tune via TDN, you'll be able to use this app to write it to the vehicle. So there you go. We have now, at Power Driven, received your tune file. We'll go through, we'll make those changes and send it back to you. And so once we get that back, we'll go ahead and start flashing this thing. Okay guys, so from that moment that you send us that tune, it takes Power Driven one to two business days to get it turned around, get it written up. We're gonna send you an email to notify you that we got it done, but there won't be a tune in that file. We will automatically upload that to the TDN, that tune delivery network. And so once you connect back up to the RTD device, it will be there. So we're gonna go ahead, plug this guy back in, just like that. So from here, now that we're all good, we need to once again re, um, re-sync the RTD4, make sure we're connected. Okay, RTD4 is successfully re-synced, we're good to go. So there we go, it's already re-synced. We're gonna go ahead and we can pull up our file here. Now here's what we got. We've got a couple of write, uh, reads that we've done recently, and then we have, so we can flash those back in. Let's just say we, we read the file and we just wanna put the stock file back in, that's that restore, um, that's the file that we read off. That shift on the fly, power driven tuning right there, um, that is the new tune. So we're gonna go ahead and write that. And this is very simple, it's going through saying we basically need to turn on the key, same as the reading process, turn on the key, click ready. Got it. And write. Connecting to connecting to RTD4.
And this is a very self-explanatory process. The only thing we're gonna do is halfway through this, well, we'll have to unplug that Ficam relay, super straightforward. Otherwise, it's really the same as reading. Turn on and off the key, following the prompts, and it should take us about 10 minutes here. Well, there we go, turn off the ignition. Erasing that to the factory file, and now we're writing it. Write time, about 20 seconds, it says. Okay, again, turn off the ignition. And we'll wait that three seconds. Turn it back on. Now it's doing the TCM, flashing that really quick. Okay, and here we go. This is where we're talking about the FICM. It says, in order to prevent damage to the FICM, please remove the FICM relay before proceeding with the flashing. Press OK once the FICM relay is removed to proceed with the flash. Press cancel to abort flashing the FICM. Very simple here. We're just gonna get out, unplug that relay. So all we gotta do is locate that FICM relay that is in this fuse box right here. So we're just gonna push the tabs, pop that lid off, and it's this big um, relay right here in the corner and it's got the two big tangs on it. So that's your Ficum relay. Okay, so now we're just gonna put this guy to the side, keep flashing. So now we got that Ficum relay removed, we're just gonna go ahead and hit okay. And then we're gonna turn off the ignition and just keep following the prompts. Whew, that Ficum tune is two minutes and 13 seconds. Okay, and then turn off the ignition, hit ready. It's really just the same steps, you know, over and over. And then turn it back on, hit done. And the Ficum tune is complete, okay. And that's it, so everything goes went well. Okay guys, that is it, we got the tunes installed. Now we just need to plug that relay back in, put the cover back on, and we're ready for a test drive. So to start off, just to see if the shift on the fly is working, with the cruise control off, we're gonna hit the coast button and that's gonna change the tack to show what tune level you're in. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Oh, and you can see four is that quiet idle. That's so sweet. And then when you're done, just click the coast again and you're back to normal. So whenever you flash a truck, it's going to start in tune zero, which is gonna be like your stock power level tune. So that's what we're gonna play with here. Give it a little bit of beans. Yeah, feels very, very stock powered, but it runs good. So uh, I guess the next thing we need to do is bump it up a tune. So we're gonna go, let's go to tune three. Let's see what that does. Dude, the fact that you can just do it with the steering wheel buttons, it's so cool. That's awesome. That's a little bit more like it. <laughs> okay, let's just do tune five. Let's see what that does. <laughs> oh man, that's so sweet. I wish I had that. Oh yeah, it's still clean. That's a good run and setup. But yeah, so this is a stock. This is actually a bone stock truck that just now has a power driven tuning and one of our uh, sixty two. Um, power stroke turbos and so it runs really good it's super clean next step is definitely going to be a little bit of bulletproofing and some injectors but this thing runs good and that shift on the fly works so great it's so much fun and then lastly i just want to show you guys this quiet idle so right now we're in tune five again we're going to hit coast bop it down to four and it quietens up like that that your your typical 60 rattle goes away it's <laughs> so sweet Okay guys, like we said, this is custom tuning. That means we can make changes, we can play around with different things. So let's just say there is something you don't like. Maybe the shift timing is not what you want, or there's a weird gremlin where it sounds a little weird or whatever it is, you can go ahead on that same TDN app and you can just click data log and then you just click start, start your engine and it's obviously already running. And now 
once it connects and everything, it's going to data log the truck so we, the tuner, can see exactly what's going on, like why is this shift hanging out? Why is it making a weird noise? Why is it a little bit loud right there? Whatever it is, the, whatever you want us to change, you can communicate that while using the um, data logging so we can really see what's going on. So and that's as simple as it is and then it's just gonna upload and it's gonna send to us. Well guys, that basically concludes this video. I think it's awesome what we can do with these trucks and ultimately that install and just the whole reading and flashing process is so straightforward, it's awesome. If you do have questions, feel free to call in to our technical support team. They can help you out however is necessary. And like always, like, share, and subscribe. Help us feel make more content just like this one. Thanks guys.